Hi, and welcome to another video of Engineering Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how to generate a paper airplane. So, there's different ways of creating paper airplanes, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the time to create a very simple uh, paper airplane. Um, and then what I'm going to have you guys do is create one on your own so that we can have some competitive flying. So let's go ahead and start. And we're going to start like we always do, generating a part. Um, but this time, since a paper airplane is a two-dimensional uh, sheet of paper, we're only going to create a sketch. So now that we have a part going, um, what we want to do is we want to create a sketch. In our case, I'm going to pick the top plane. It's just easier when I drop it onto a drawing sheet to pick the top plane. All right, and so what I need to do is I need to create a basis for my sheet of paper. So I'm going to create a rectangle, a center rectangle, so that I can start right in the middle. And then from here, I'm going to move out to some corner, and then I'm going to smart dimension this. So my paper airplane in this case is going to be a specific um, portrait. So instead of landscape, we'll pick the portrait style. So it'll be 11 in height by eight and a half inches. This is going to be my sheet of paper. So I'm going to click check. Now, the other thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that each of these lines are construction lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to designate my solid lines as fold lines. So I'm going to make everything else that I don't need folded dash lines. So these are just giving me a basis for my paper airplane. The first line that I'm going to start with is going to be my line down the middle. It's just easier for me to go from midpoint to midpoint. Now this is not necessarily the first thing that I'm going to fold, so I'm going to leave it alone. Um, when I have this. So here we go. That's a solid line. I know I'm going to fold halfway at some point. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my actual first fold line, which is going to be around here. Now I don't know the exact dimensions yet. You can take a sheer sheet of paper and me measure if you want, but I'm just kind of guesstimate that it's going to be somewhere here. So long as it's not in the midpoint, I really don't need to fold that high. Um, and then I'm going to dimension this so that I know that I have an accurate fold. So I'm going to dimension from this point down to this point. And I actually want this to be 4.25 inches in length. This is just going to be a very simple dark airplane. So here's my 425, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my last fold line down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create my line by going off this specific mid, um, point, which is my end of my line. Notice how it kind of follows that dotted line. I want that so that I know that my two points are going to be horizontal. So here I'm going to go down to the end and then I'm going to dimension here and I, I like about two inches there that's not a big deal now the everything else is in black you'll notice the only thing that's in blue is this point and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my control key make sure when you select different elements you need to hit control and then and select this point and this point um, and make these two points horizontal. And so once I've done that, you'll notice that that turns from black to blue. Now, I want to mirror everything, all the folds on one end over on the other, over on the other side. So I'm going to mirror some en entities here in the sketch mode. I'm going to mirror this and this line. And I'm going to mirror them about my center fold. So this actually kind of looks like an arrow. All right, the last thing that I want to do now is I want to 
tell the person that prints this paper airplane what folds are you going to go first. So I'm going to use my text tool here and I'm going to type first fold and drag it over to my first fold line right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my second. Now you can number these in different ways. I'm just opting to use words, but if you want to use numbers, um, just say one, two, three. And if you want to use a different way instead of um, my rectangle to create that base, then that's perfectly fine. It's really up to you. So the third fold is along the length of paper. Uh, so how do I get the other line? I just pressed enter. That's not a big deal. And so once I'm done, I'm going to click my OK. And then I'm going to drag this to wherever I want it. In this case, I kind of want it down here. And then the last one. Um, are my two folds here and it doesn't matter which one goes first so the fourth and fifth folds are along those those lines there so that I can generate my wings and so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna move it over to the side and I'm done with my paper airplane somewhat I can't print this this is some object off in space so what I need to do is actually need to create a drawing for it I'm gonna save this as my paper airplane part. So I'm going to close my paper airplane part and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a drawing. So we've been creating parts um, and possibly assemblies if we've gotten that far but now we're going to start creating drawings um, and so I'm going to start so we're going to click OK. And you'll notice that you'll have this pop-up window with all the different formats. So we talked about conventions and standards in class. In this case, there's different ISO formats that you can select. And if you click, you'll notice the width and the height of the picture change. Now, if you unclick, which show the standard formats, you'll have the different ANSI ones. So for our case, we're actually not going to create anything that's standard or conventional we're going to create something custom. So we're going to create an eight and a half inch by 11 inch page of an inch and click OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my paper airplane. So I'm going to click OK. You'll notice that you have different views. And so we talked about this, a plane, if I look at it from a different view can be a line and that's exactly what we're looking at when we move this around. So we drew everything on the top view so I'm going to go ahead and click the top. Once we do that then we start looking at it from the top direction the way we intended it to. So I'm going to drag this down you'll notice that you should have a true size not a projected size so we're not going to use any kind of scale at all. We're just going to create a true projection. And then I'm going to place it right in the middle. Now you'll notice that what I have here, it's actually slightly shifted down. So what I'm going to do once this is in place, I'm going to click my check and then I'm going to select it so I can drag and place my view as I like. So I'm going to move it. This is the reason why I asked you guys to create your sheet right on the edges of my paper. Once I've done that, I'm going to click OK and then we're going to save. Now it's up to you if you want to generate some drawings on this and you can do it on the sketch or you can do it here, it doesn't matter. And I want you to save it in two different formats. I want you to save it as a drawing file. So we're going to click OK. And this is actually ready to print. You can go to your file menu and then hit print and you should be able to print. The other format that I actually want you to upload is a PDF. So I'm going to save as and there's different ways that you can save it. Notice how you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG or a TIFF. For us we want PDF drawings so this will facilitate a printout for me 
Um, so what I'll do is I'll collect all your paper airplanes from Blackboard and then I'm going to print them all out so that we can have our competition. So I'm going to click Save. And so now we've generated a PDF drawing. So if you go to your Save folder or your USB, you'll notice that you have your pa paper airplane there. I'm going to double click on that and you'll have your PDF paper airplane uh, show up. So this is my paper airplane. You'll have SolidWorks um, logo here. So once you have this, you'll notice that you'll be ready to print. Um, you're going to create your own unique paper airplane. You cannot use mine. This is my paper airplane. So go ahead and generate your own, save it as a PDF, and complete your assignment.